It's the kind of beat to go. Hey guys, what's up? It's Joey, and today I'm here for a new series called Around the World in Seven Days. And pretty much what I'm trying to do in this series is give you guys a pretty big give you a pretty big breakdown of all the different maps and cities that we have on World Domination so that you guys can understand what you need to bring with, what's the best troops to take down, what is given, what's pretty much what's coming at you. And I'm going to pretty much doing this until the next update and then I'll probably start it back up a little bit after that update. But until then, I just want to pretty much give you guys this chance to kind of understand what these maps are like and pretty much get what's happening, what's going on. So for this first episode, we're going to start where you first start off in the game. The first few maps you're going to be playing is around New Orleans. Well, I think it's pretty much, I'm pretty sure it's New Mexico and stuff like that. And we're pretty much just around this little area right here. So here we go, San Francisco. That's the first one that you're going to be playing. So San Francisco is the first map that you're going to play. I'm, as you see, I'm on day 132. I've played this map so many times. And pretty much what I'm going to do, I'm going to be going through normal, hard, and expert and pretty much give you guys a breakdown of what you guys are going to be wanting to bring along as you're leveling up and progressing. Because certain maps require different troops that you want to bring with, which make them easier and helps you just succeed against them. Get that three star, protect the hospital, and just win. So I'm going to bring along my high level troops, but that does that's not really meant to deter you. I'm just going to be kind of breaking it down. I'll show you guys what you should bring. Let's clear this out. So in the beginning, what you're usually going to have is a couple snipers. Maybe you'll have a couple of paramedics, and you're definitely going to be having some gunfighters or fire chiefs. So some of these are these are going to be some of the main troops that you're going to be having when you're first taking on these first couple low-level places. So San Francisco, normal. That's the first thing you're going to have. Only level one recommended. Pretty easy. So let's defend it. And it's free. That's another thing I have to take into consideration is how many cans you're getting out of each raid. Now this one's free, so you're actually gaining about 25. But as you can see here, we have runners and brutes. Now, one really good thing to have is definitely going to have some snipers because the snipers are going to help do a lot of damage to those brutes, get them away as fast as possible because those things are going to be causing problems for you. Now, over here, here's another thing. You have a, pretty, you have a path that's pretty far away from the um, little spawn point for the zombies. So you're probably going to want to put some snipers back here because they're going to have a good view sight on this little group here. So you're just going to send them out to the middle of that road. They're going to have an amazing view straight down the, this little lane right here, right to the zombies. Now, something that's always good is to have this firefighter or fire chief that will help take damage. So I'm going to put one down along with two of these gunfighters. Now, this is going to be a very good combo to help take out, kind of thin out the drones and stuff like that, and just overall take out the horde. Now, we have the spitters, which are long range, long distance, kind of like the zombie sniper of the game. And they're going to be used to try to snipe those guys chill in the back of the horde and just try not to get killed. So we're going to have to thin it out as much as possible so we can take out those spitters. Now over here, I'm going to put down three more of these handy dandy snipers. Move the little spawn flag right over there. So that's where all my troops are going to be sitting. So I'm going to put down two firefighters, one gunfighter, and I'm actually going to put down two paramedics. So they're going to help keep my guys fully healthed up and help defend that hospital. So let's start these waves. Let's fast forward a little bit and let's see how we hold up. So as you can see right here, snipers, they're going to be key in taking out these guys and they don't even want to look over there. Come on, you guys can do it. You guys want to look over here? Look like we have AI problems. I don't know what they're doing, but there we go. But they're very, very, very good for taking out those brutes and things like that. And that'll help you to able to just thin out the drones a little bit faster and just a little bit better. So as you can see, paramedics are doing great doing their job. Took out those. We're just locking down on D. So as you can see, snipers causing big damage to that brute. That's something you're gonna really want. Good use is all your also your skills. That will help take. It'll. There's just d different, really various things that you're gonna learn in the tutorial. But something great is the flare helps take those got kind of lures the drones away for that one second. And that one second can really be the big break in your defense. Because if that you can just send them back for just a minute, it gives the survivors an upper hand in taking out those guys a little bit faster. So, of course, there's always different difficulties in these levels. So, we have Expert as well. So, I'm going to be going to Expert with a little bit different group. I'm going to have a Fire Chief, level 20. The, I know you guys aren't going to have these, but I'll bring in some of the guys that you probably will have. I think you'll have a Mercenary as well. But it's just to have a good example of what you're going to have and what you're going to see. Now, you all, you might still, you'll probably have an Outlaw or something like that. Borrowed units, this is from your guild. But I'm going to bring along the Machine Gunner. Not saying I'm going to use it, but I'll have it. So let's accept. Now it's only level 10, but this will just help get a good example of what you're going to be going against and what you'll probably need. 
Let's load it up for San Francisco. All right, so pretty much the same thing, but everything's just a little bit higher level. You're still going to have those runners. We still have those spitters, and we still have those big brutes or colossuses. Now, same thing. All right, so we got two hospitals defense. That We have to kind of strategize a little bit differently. Now, it's not going to change everything to anything too drastically, but I think we'll be able to handle it. All right, so right here, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to first off by setting three sharpshooters right down this middle point, and they're going to be looking right down at that first spawn point. That's going to be very helpful for us. Now, I'm going to move these guys kind of into this little closed location. I'm going to throw down two, I'm gonna have to, all four of my fire chiefs here. There's going to be a medic on each of these pads, and then I'm going to throw some two mercenaries right in here to help thin out the horde. So we have mercenaries to, and snipers to help take out all these big guys, and then fire chires, firefighters just be that shield and powerful defense against all those guys. They're just going to be taking damage for the mercenaries and paramedics. It's going to be really good. So I think those two, those two pads are going to be pretty locked down, and of course I always have extra people to throw down just in case they get in a little bit of trouble. Now next we have these next little group of pads. So I'm going to move these guys right up to this wall so they can pretty much see it pretty well. And what I'm going to do, let's see what we're going to have. So we have this wall right here. This is going to be very good because that way we'll be protected. Problem is that we're not going to be able to see over this wall. So let's move these flags just back a little bit. I'm going to let them break through this wall. They're going to be able to do what they want. All right, so I'm going to definitely throw down two mercenaries, two scatter shots. You know, just throw all these scatter shots down. Then these outlaws are going to help put, do, you know, they're going to help deal some damage against these uh, big broody guys. So let's start these waves. Now over here is where I'm going to focus the most, but I'm also going to be looking at over here as well. So right off the bat, we got a lot of drones, and that's what the mercenaries are for. They're there to just help take out these drones, thin it down a little bit, and just do their job right there. So they're doing their job perfectly. So let's see if we can get, I want to get these broody guys. So as you can see, spitter, long range sniper zombie. He's chilling back there dealing damage. That's not good. We need him to get a little bit over, closer over here. So I'm going to try to get him a little bit closer, but see, these guys aren't seeing him, and that's pretty much the biggest problem. That's why we do have these problems. So we need to get this spitter over where we can see him as soon as possible. Bro, come on. Mazdaf cocktail. It was time for him to go. It was time. So I'm actually going to throw down another paramedic here because I can. I needed the extra spot. Why not? All right, flare time. Send them back a little bit. Stim up these mercenaries. I'm actually going to throw down two gunslingers as well, and they're going to help out just a little bit while we try to thin out the rest of these drones and brutes. So we managed to take out that big group. These guys, however, they managed to make it through. They pretty much took out all of my guys. Now we just have a couple drones left. Let's move these guys up a little bit and take out these last few drones. Now that's another thing making sure and making use of those pads and how their little range where you can move them around. It can really help you win those extra rounds and stuff like that. But guys, that's pretty much my big breakdown of San Francisco. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it helped a little bit. So for some of you guys who may be having trouble on San Francisco, I mean, it's not the hardest place in the world, but it's definitely a lot of fun and some, it's a lot of good tips. But thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the episode of Around the World in 7 Days hitting up San Francisco, and I will see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.